Right now is your chance to be the proud owner of this beautiful truck right here. All right, so every $5 you spend on GoogleSquad.com will get you an entry into winning this truck, LTZ Chevy, Silver Auto 1500. I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, that rumble on that V8, this could be your truck. Welcome to the U.S. Challenge. Previously, the guys traveled to Arizona and Louisiana. The guys took on the task to catch as many species as possible. While that was definitely a challenge, it's time to up the difficulty. This time, things are different. We have Lake Fork Guy and One Rod versus Ayo and Noah. Lake Fork Guy and One Rod are headed to Michigan home of Great Lakes, Giant Smallies, and m and while Ayo and Norm take on the concrete jungle, New York, known for its fast-paced urban scenery and their amazing cuisine. The name of the game is Size Matters. Here's the rules. One fish per species counts toward total length. You're only allowed one bluegill or sunfish per team. Biggest bass overall gets a 10-inch bonus added to the team's total. And biggest fish overall gets a 10-inch bonus added to the team's total. At midnight of the last day, the guys will tally up the total number of inches and the winner will be declared. Watch as the guys walk into unknown territory and push the limits to be crowned champion of the U.S. Challenge. We've been sent to New York. We've never been here. I've only known it as a city. I'm from the South, so I've never been here before. So they sent us to New York, and it's a U.S. fishing challenge. $1,000 is the budget? For like four days, three guys. Can't even yeah. feed our camera guy, but that's fine. First thing we need to do is get a rental car, because obviously we have to travel to all of our fishing spots. It's probably going to run us quite a few bucks. No reservation. No reservation. We're still done. Well, guys, it <laughs> turns out there's no rental cars, so this has already been a great Start, yeah. dude. What I think we need to do is, if we took our thousand dollar budget, took it to the casino, we Uber there, we could get enough to buy a car and just take it back home. Dude, we could. Yeah, we could take our thousand dollars and just put it straight into like an old camper. Oh uh, yeah, we're at Avis right now. Apparently, this is the only place that could potentially have a rental car, and if they don't have it, I guess we're walking. I don't think any of us know what any what's going on at all. But that's part of the fun. It's part of the adventure. It's super fun, dude. Perfect. We're gonna fly to Buffalo. <laughs> no rental car. <laughs> Oh. What is the cheapest option? That is 607. That's what we're doing. Okay. 540, $547. So over half our budget is already gone just to have the car. And we didn't get the gas card with us. We're going to have to buy gas. So we're going to have to play a tight budget the next four days. We basically have a little bit less than $100 each day to spend. This feels very familiar. You know, hopefully it goes well again. And I will say the rules this time, I like them a lot more. They're, they're really pretty sporadic in the last 2v2 statewide challenge. Not gonna lie, Claire and I kind of took advantage of that. You know, you know, you gotta hate the, uh, hate the game, not the player. This is gonna be a pretty amazing uh, fishing adventure. Literally just landed in Detroit, beautiful state of Michigan, We've got great weather. All we have is uh, backpacks full of tackle. Don't know where we're sleeping tonight. We're literally just going and trying to catch every species of fish that we can. We're going to Niagara Falls, baby. Woo, road trip. Roll again. Oh. <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> I've actually genuinely always wanted to go to Niagara Falls. I'm kind of excited, dude. I have a little like nervous yeah. excitement like building up in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at Niagara Falls, the starting point of the U.S. Challenge. Me and AO versus Rackley and One Rod. So we're starting here in New York. We're gonna be going east over the next four days, hitting up some of you guys. Hopefully meeting some subscribers, going fishing with them. We really don't have a plan besides we have to catch the most fish in inches. But we figured, you know, this is only 30 minutes away from the airport, so before we started fishing, we just had to take in the views. Yeah, had to take it in. A beautiful Viagra. Beautiful Viagra. And this is exactly 
the very edge of New York. So we're starting at one end of New York and we're working our way across New York. So what do they call them? Finger Lakes, Great Lakes, yep. Rivers, great, Niagara Falls. Great Rivers, Great Lakes. The concrete jungle where dreams are made of, baby, right here. Right. In Toronto. Yeah, you wanna go look at the waterfall? Let's do it. So big, and there's so much mist, I can't even see the actual waterfall, it's crazy. And most places you go, there's not just like a 200 foot drop, so I kinda have that sweaty feeling in my palms. Yeah. I'm curious how close that boat's gonna get to the falls. They're kinda headed straight to it. Look at that thing. They're one back captain away from just going straight in. Yeah. Now I'm kinda scared of heights, and this is really kinda doing it for me. <laughs> Stop that, Jimmy Dog. Dude, they're getting up with me. We had our first live stop in Detroit. Leonardo's. Leonardo's Italian eatery? What, what's the name of this place? I don't know. We're at a kind of an empty parking lot, which is sort of concerning. Yeah, what, what I don't like is there's no cars in front of us. But, right. but it's good. People don't eat dinner at 4 p.m. Just met another awesome fan, Chris. Uh, thank you, man. We talked to him for a good 10, 15 minutes, and yeah, he likes to fly fish a lot, knows a lot of small water areas, which is perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for, uh, and actually gave us some pins of some areas to go to that are pretty urban that we're going to be able to access pretty quickly with a car and then be able to bank fish. So most of what we're doing this week is bank fishing, and he told us some areas where we could go catch potentially walleye, get some right. big smallmouth, uh, a good carp lake, carp would be huge, uh, catfish, and you know, I'm sure there's like bluegill and perch and all sorts of other things in these little tributaries that are leading into the Great Lakes. So I have just been amazed today, quite honestly, since I left DFW Airport, that is the fifth person that I've run into that is a Guga Squad fan. And, uh, Three of the people I met ended up giving us fishing information. This is where the car is right here. This oh, is where yeah, I'm here. thinking that we're fishing, right where the airplanes launch. <laughs> right here. Thinking we have destiny. You think we're allowed in there? It looks like an airstrip. Okay, we don't have much daylight, so Mike's right. We need to we need to get to fishing. We have yet to cast a line, so uh, until we get our car, we're just kind of gonna be on our foot, trying to find something close. And, uh, wait for the special car he's talking about. Good call, Leonardo's. My call for this spot ain't looking too good. <laughs> yeah, there's some water over here, but it's fenced in heavily. So bad news is uh, the water we're gonna fish. It's uh, it's right past that barbed wire fence. I didn't know the barbed wire fence. All right, so I messed up a little bit. We can't fish unless you think you can make a cast over the wire. True. No. Even with the strong Guggen line, it can't get past barbed wire. So let's go ahead and walk to our uh, rental car and uh, we're gonna show you guys something cool. <laughs> you think we would think of that. You think. So we've been walking for almost a mile. We started all the way down there. The water didn't work out. Our rental car is another half a mile that way. We actually passed it. And how we know that is because it's the only car of its kind that we've seen in this state mm -hmm. so far. We're like, wow, isn't that the kind of car? <laughs> and it was the car, and we drove about a mile past it. You won't find, you won't find a gas pipe anywhere on that thing. Well, we're going green. <laughs> we're going green on this trip. How are we gonna? You're going green, baby. We got a couple days, dude. Yeah. Are we I, gonna be able to charge this thing? I looked on the maps. There's not many chargers around here. We might be in trouble when it comes to that. Now, before we go, should I put in a little navigation? Absolutely. I okay. hear the motor. Yeah, it's starting to whirl. It's whirling up a little bit. Why don't we get a little AC running right here? What what temperature? Do you like? Not too much. We yeah. don't need. We need to waste our battery. Oh, that's true. Okay, let's go 16. Take it then. easy. All right, all right. Chris gave us some good spots. Yeah. There at the end of the day, which I think are all south of here. They are. They are. Which There's one? Jerry's coming in. Jay, this could be. Oh. What's up, guys? What's up, trolls? Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, we, we just, hey, bro, we don't, even, we don't even need the fish. Just show up our car, Justin. We're about to go to a nightclub, bro. We get, we're in a Tesla. We're about to go for a little little test drive here. <laughs> we got old Peepaw trying to drive the Tesla right now. Oh, wow. So, uh, we have... like your entire budget for the week. Yeah, we're, we are going hard. We had a really big dinner to start. A lot of... Good wine, broke some bread. I, mean, uh, we I figured, see a rod. You guys. We are figured we'd give them a head start because this challenge. There's no way you guys are winning. You, how many fish you guys got, by the way? Species or fish? 
how many uh how many inches do you guys have for the challenge? I should say. I mean, I'm about five, probably. That's more than I thought. Wait, well, I, well, uh, wait, really are you on okay. the bank? Are you are you in a boat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're on the bank. Yes, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. All right, we'll let you boys get back oh. to it. I'm gonna teach Justin how to drive this thing. Yeah, hopefully we won't right. be in a ditch. <laughs> bro, 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 that's not, that's not oh, right. Okay. That's not right. <laughs> you wouldn't engage. But it, it won't. It, uh, it won't let you run into the curb, will it? Oh yes, it will. Oh. Yeah, it will, bro. <laughs> we are at Lake Erie, Buffalo Harbor. We just picked up some live crawfish. We're rigging up all our rods. And uh, apparently this fence point is loaded with bass, according to the guy who owns this bait and tackle shop. So we're gonna give that a try, maybe throw some artificials around the marina, see if we can't get on the board, get some inches. First cast of the US challenge. Live crawfish on the back here, one ounce weight, 30 mile an hour winds. Let's get this baby. <laughs> here we go. I've never caught a smallmouth in my entire life, and I've always dreamed of doing it, and I feel like this is a place where you can actually catch one with size, not just like a little one from a creek. I'm nervous. Here's the predicament we're in. Every time we throw these out, they just get covered in grass because the wind is blowing so quick that our crawfish doesn't even have time to dangle around before he's just looking like he's not real. So I think what we're going to do is go to some protected water in this oh, marina where the Sorry, dude. This wind is ridiculous. Right over there where the wind is kind of protected, we get like a little bit of like slack water. I might tie on artificial. Maybe we'll have like a little bit of artificial and live bait going on. We gotta catch something before the sun goes down. We have two hours. And we can't just sit here and, yeah. and do nothing in this grass patch. Yep, my ADHD is kicking in. I can't sit still. I have to throw artificial lure. I'm gonna go crazy, so. I'm starting to think that guy that owns that bait shop was just sending all of his customers over here to lose all the bait and go buy more bait. I was thinking that too, never trust a guy at a bait shop. He yeah. doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, especially if they're like good, honest, and local. I'm just joking. So we are below Lake Huron at a tributary and supposedly, according to Mike's research uh, and some local knowledge too, um, there's a lot of different species in this place so i don't know about summertime what all is going to be in here but i think it's our best chance to get as many species as possible as fast as possible small place it's not like we're on a huge lake a lot of fish are going to be concentrated in these uh choke points here and we got a couple of bridges as well those are always good all right well i'm actually just going to put my reel on my rod and i don't like to tie anything until i actually see the water i'm going to measure the water temp see the water check the depth a little bit and then take a lure based on the conditions of this area that I've never been to before. Rackley, they're going to Flat Rock Dam. You, you, want, you want to stay there? Meet us there? Okay. Whenever you're fishing a new spot, a surefire place to find fish is under or near a dam. The dam has moving water, which is going to create oxygen, going to create cool water in the summer. It's going to have a lot of bait fish, and of course, the predator is going to be right there behind them. Oh, first cast. Oh my God. Gee, bro, that's a huge fish on the first cast. That guy up there, I was tying on a bait. It was gonna be a crawfish pad. He told me green chartreuse. So I pulled out this chartreuse colored mini clutch. Got smashed on the first cast. That was insane. Uh, we're gonna get back in there. All right, first casts of the trip, baby. Got some rocks right here. Give her a little dangle. Got a mini recon on, stained water. Just thinking if I can hit some rocks, this crankbait, I might be able to do something here. Oh, got one, I got one. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. I think it's a smallmouth. Oh my God, he hammered it. He hammered that, that little recon. Oh, it's a smallie, yeah. There we go. First fish of the trip, y'all. There we go. No, no, no. Don't get away. Oh. The rubbers, the rubbers saved me. Well, that was a fun fight on that rod. So it looks like the first two bites we've had have come on crankbaits. 
I've been catching a lot of fish on mini recon lately. Good for catching multi-species. I haven't tried fishing the current yet. A little harder to fish the crankbaits, but anytime you got riprap, you can dig the bottom or dig into those rocks with uh, crankbaits like this. It's a good, good technique. They really hear that sound of the bill hitting it. So we're gonna keep throwing this for a little bit. If we don't get bit, maybe switch up. So we were just fishing right on the other side of this riprap wall. No bites, we were in all that grass, hydrilla, whatever you want to call it. We drove around to the boat ramp. We're now on the wall itself. And I think this area of the harbor is gonna be a little bit deeper. Typically they dig these things deep enough for yachts to come in and out. So I'm thinking we could potentially reach past the shallow grass. Fingers crossed. There's a lot of big rocks, looks really juicy. And I almost touched a groundhog. So could be my lucky spot. Dude, can we steal some wacky rig hooks? Yeah, no problem. Say, I have right. like 50. I just got like 50 of them. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. I brought limited tackle, so. Yeah. All right. What's your name again, man? Aiden. Aiden? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is Aiden. He's helping us out on the challenge here. He knows how to catch them. I've been throwing a swim jig around. Apparently, that's all wrong. The wacky rig, lunker log is the way to go. Like Sweet, two. man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, wish us luck. And uh, thanks for the advice, dude, because yep. we definitely needed it. We've been fishing for quite a while. Where else were you guys fishing? We fished that corner down there, the guy that Bait Shop recommended with live bait, and it, there was so much grass that it was, it's that's not it. Cool. All right. Well, wish us luck, man. I'm gonna try yeah. to catch a pike and a bass, so thank you once again. All right, good luck. All right, see you, man. Hello to us and hi. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, bro. I told you, it catches anything that swims. I told you, bro. Oh, that's a smallie. I think we've upgraded our smallie. Bro, grab my net, help me land it. Grab my net, bro. It's pretty good. It ain't bad. Get out. It's not bad at all. It's long and lanky. Oh, dude, these things fight like absolute tanks. Current? Yeah, and the current. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yes. My, oh, look. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, okay. Right there, right there. Bring it to you. Let's go. First ever fish in Michigan. Bro, this is what we need. This is an upgrade. That's nice. I think that might be weird. <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. Woo. Oh, he unhooked himself. You got the, uh, you got the measuring yeah. tape? What do you think? Do we need to FaceTime Norm real quick? Show yeah, him what's that's up? That's a 15. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you measure it. I'm going to get Norm on the phone. It's a definite 15. 15 incher. We'll I'm take calling it. it. I'm calling it right there. 15 and a half, dude. Hey, Norm. How's it going, buddy? Wait, why are you in the car? I thought you were fishing. What happened to the fishing, bud? We're on our way home. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you know, even if you don't catch any fish, I'll carry the episode, buddy. Don't you worry. I got you. <laughs> First cast. I just walked out here. No big deal. All right, hey, watch me, watch me let go of this beautiful fish. Oh, he's on. We doubled up. We doubled up. Let's go. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Wild. I thought I thought that was a big fish. <laughs> That's what happens when you got when you snag a river smallie. This guy's a beauty. I'm gonna let uh, LFG's fish go. Keep it nice and healthy. I'm on again. I'm on again. Bro, they're on fire over here. Probably another creek smallie. Oh, he's all the way in the bushes. Oh no. Alley -oop. Oh, we got a, oh, new species. New species, Cam. Species number two for the trip. A 15 and a half inch smallie. We've got this little large mouth. Spoon, 50 pound braid, Guggen Squad, bait casting reel. It throws light baits like a dream, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Looks like we're looking at 10 and a half inches. 10 and a half, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure we're gonna catch a bigger large mouth than that, but for now, more points for tonight, day number one. We've spent $800. So yeah. the, the beautiful specimen that made this cameraman mm -hmm. has offered us some lodging and food for the night. Yes. And our, our camera guy's parents are gonna let us stay there for free. No money. No money, <laughs> yep. free food, free lodging, boom. <laughs> Is it? Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I was gonna tap you off, dude. <laughs> We're saving so much money in your face holder, Rod and Rackley. Ah. Yeah, they did FaceTime us on the way here. I'd use the bathroom, and they've already caught two smallmouth in the 30-second FaceTime call that we had. So I'm extremely nervous tomorrow for sure. Like we're gonna eat up. We're gonna rest up at Jerry's parents' house. Yeah. And then. Tomorrow needs to be a day where we're catching tons of species. Tons. It's gotta be a lot. Dude, yeah, dude. Cause they're already up and Rackley is Rackley. They're gonna be tired tonight though. That's the thing. Tomorrow they might sleep in a little bit, but we're gonna be up and early I in the know, morning. Dude. 
We got it, V, dude. Yeah. I want to win this thing bad. I do, too. Because they got some good fishermen. I know one rod, he really likes, you oh, know, man. just multi-species. Yeah. And then Rackley's really good at crappie, bass, and everything. And we're just two dudes from the southeast. So right. I feel like we got to show out for our southeast boys and girls. For sure. Well, we're headed east. Rochester? 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 <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a sausage or something. Yeah. Makes, is that where sausages yeah. come from, Jerry? Uh, something like that's that. where Jerry came from. We're headed a year... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> an hour. <laughs> Dude, we're going an hour to Rochester, eastbound, New York. We're starting the New York journey. I got to go pee in the gas station, and then we'll see you guys at Jerry's parents' house. Can't wait to meet his mom and his dad. And his dad. Yep. All right, so we just fished a lowhead dam. Over there is another dam. I don't even know what kind of dam it is. We're here for an adventure. Let's go explore. We got a lot of bugs in the face right now, Mike. Woo! Let's get fishing, boys. Oh, Good, yeah. baby. I got 50 should, pound braid. Should I, I reel can, mine in? Oh, uh, let me go around. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, shoot. It's full of drag. It's long. long. It's long. I got it. I got it. Get in the boat. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't jump. Hold the light. Don't jump. No, no, no. You're going to hurt. Jeff, wait. Hold the light. Hold the light so I can see. Let's go. It's right there. Keep going. It's right there. Get it. Oh, it's moving away. Grab it. Grab it. Let's see it! Yes, right there. Oh, 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 let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shoot! I'm oh, sorry about your light, bro! Woo! We caught a freaking pike! <laughs> Look how long this thing is! Oh my god! Dude! Oh my gosh! Dude. <laughs> you got a tape measure for this? Dude, that's a long one, man. <laughs> Let me get the scale. Bro, that's the first time anyone said that to me. Uh, ah! That's the one we needed. This right. thing is hurting me. Let's get a measurement on this cat. Oh, we gotta watch those teeth, huh? Yeah, get get on the top of that lip. Get that top lip, bro. Bro, get the top lip, the bottom lip, the bottom lip. There you go. Alright, we got it. 24. Yes, sir. We'll call it 24. 24 inches. 24. Baby. Woo! Yes, Mike! <laughs> what you, what you even throw, dude? Uh, I'll let him go, then I'll show you what I'm throwing. This is day one of the Guga Squad Statewide Challenge. Yeet! Woo! Yeah, baby! Let's go! <laughs> That's how we do it. Woo, look at this slime. Bro, now this bait, I was tie I, the first bait I threw today, I was tying on one of the uh, mini recons like you, and the guy's like, no, don't throw that. This guy, old guy walking by, he said, throw this color, and he pointed to my box. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Okay. The mini clutch. A little chartreuse and blue. Chartreuse blue back. That was like my fourth cast. Right in right in the juice. juice. Did not cut your braid either. Nope. Got lucky, baby. Oh, it's not luck. A Google Squad 50 pound braid got some resistance. <laughs> Pretty much. So yeah. now we're sitting at uh, 50, over 50. Let's we see. had 26. Yeah, 26 plus 24 is 50 exactly. Yeah, 50. Let's go. Dude. That, that's how we start the, not the trip. 50 inches to start. Hey, that's pretty freaking good. And, <laughs> and you haven't even got your lines in the water. Who knows? We might catch, we might get through 100 tonight. Bro, what do you got on here? What do you have on here? Oh my, oh my god. Oh, he came off. Oh, no. Oh, no. God. No. Oh, my god. No. It was huge, bro. It was no. Huge. It was no. Huge. It had to have been a car. Uh, was that the Leonardo special? That was the Leonardo oh, special. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. You are literally using Italian restaurant food. Yeah, and it wanted it bad. How? Yeah, we're fine. I had, <laughs> I had a giant fish on it, came off, but it was, it was about to pull the rod into the lake. So. I thought y'all were driving for a second. I thought maybe you'd hear the like deer. No, no, the, the rod was about to go in, so you, I figured you'd be my lucky charm. I'd call you and I'd get a bite. So. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, is it coming in? I don't know what it is. It's a new species, I can tell you that. Oh, bullhead baby! Yeah, baby! <laughs> new species! <laughs> Woo! Bro, that thing is so cute. Dude, you ever catch I, one of those? I know. I, I don't think I've caught one of these since I was like a small child. <laughs> at a pond. Great job. I'll get the flyers out for yeah. you. We're definitely going to need them. Watch your spines, man. That is a nasty looking little cat. <laughs> it's pretty nasty looking. Uh, I've never seen anyone. You could, I've seen people use those as bait for flatheads, actually. Start from the tail. Go to the top, 
And that right there is 10 and a half inches on hey. the dot. 10 and Ooh. a half. We'll add it. That is 60 and a half inches. Let the bull head go. Yo. Great job, bro. Can't wait to meet your parents. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like it's the first day of school all over again. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey. Hello, everybody. Hey. Well, guys, we made it to Jerry's parents' house. We were greeted. We had a whole house tour. Yeah, a beautiful dinner. We have chicken. Mm -hmm. We have pasta. Yep. Salad, which I kind of skipped out on. I'm kind of cut back on my greens. I'm kind of on a no, yeah. a no green thing right you now. Watch to. my weight. Um, we have bread, some carbs, some carbohydrates, all of which is zero dollars to the budget. So we spent eight hundred dollars today, but this, this was all free. It was. So, yep. Good job with our finances. We ended up getting some DMs from the gram. We'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully we can actually catch a fish. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to day two of the US challenge. We uh, rigged up all our rods and reels last night. Today is the day where we need a ton of species, also a ton of length. I talked with one rod last night for like 30 minutes and he said that they are absolutely crushing it. So kind of inspired us to take control of the day. Jerry's mom made us bagels. It's absolutely amazing. We gotta go grab all the rods and reels. Get on the road. I think fish number one, the species we're targeting is gonna surprise you guys because I personally have never caught one before. All right, folks, so we have the goods. I lost the receipt. But all we got was bread, the cheapest bread they have. Two things of corn. We got two Red Bulls, which I would assume were $2. And then I got an orange juice because it just looked really good. We probably just spent, I don't know, call it $15 yeah. on the upside just to be fair. And uh, it's time to get our fishing started, man. We need to get some inches on the board. Very nice. We found a vending machine with live bait. It's kind of crazy, dude. New York feels just like Georgia. Me and Norm have been talking about it. You could copy and paste where we are, put it down in Georgia, and it feels the exact same. It's like 30 degrees cooler. Anyways, we want to catch sucker fish as well. We're just going trashy all morning. You think night crawlers premium? Oh, a little bit of mold. Looks like they threw some M&Ms in there. Better than what we got. Well, spot number one's looking pretty juicy. Some rapids, a waterfall. What I've noticed about New York, the only thing that's different here than from home is how green everything is here. Like the plants are green, the grass is green. It's just an absolutely beautiful scenery for us to try to get this challenge started. You wanna put some corn on some hooks, Ao, and uh, get her started? I think we less look and more hooking. All right, guys, before we get started fishing, we just wanted to say you guys gotta check out the brand new merch, as you can tell. We're rocking, it might be hard to see because I know this blends in with the environment, but the new shirts and also the new shoes. They look absolutely amazing. If you guys want them, go ahead, link in the description down below. Use one of our codes, save 10%. Uh, brand new stuff on the website, so go check it out. <laughs> All right guys, we're about to head down here. Honestly, I'm hoping we can find some unusual species, stuff that I probably don't know the name of. It probably won't be very big, but every fish, a couple extra inches. So on the bank, an area like this is not gonna be very fishable. You can't wait, it's gonna be too soft, and a lot of it is uh, not accessible. Yeah, there is. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna put a little uh, bobber on. Yeah, and yeah. Just float the worm. In here. I think this carp, look at the bubbles. Yeah, the new go. Let's go. Oh, tiny guy. That's three inches right there. Or nah. Um, hell yeah, we're measuring okay. it, dude. That small hook gets in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe three and a half inches, bro. Oh, come on with that. Oh, wait. Four and, and three quarters. That's that's five. That's a five incher. Look at that. That's five. Five inches of pure Michigan, baby. Add it to the list. 65.5. Yep. Add it to the list. What's up, big boy? I oh, appreciate it. You like the merch? Code one rod, baby. Nothing much. You're out here. Or code gravy. No, code, code Davy gravy is pretty good, too. <laughs> let, let me show you guys where we're fishing out here. Look at this beautiful little creek we got going on here. We just added some more inches. How you? How many inches you guys at this morning? Oh, we'd have to add them all up. It's a lot of, a lot of addition. Okay. But I think we're at, uh, we're like 26. Yeah, 
we're like maybe 26 or so, maybe 30. Oh, oh that's not bad. What do we got, two bass? No, we actually have like five or six different species. Wait, no you don't. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. Are you guys on a creek or what? What are you guys doing? Yeah, Waiting a creek? creek oh, you're creek fishing? Stop. What yeah, five species? Oh, per okay, so you got like a perch, a bluegill, a goby, a creek chub, that, that kind of deal. You know what? Show me that creek behind you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice <laughs> creek! Oh, dude, there's that fish again. Look at oh. it. Look, look how long Oh my god, that's a huge fish, bro. You see it? Yeah, I see it. I see it, it looks like a pike or something. <laughs> bro, we got a 30 inch fish over here. Alright, hey, I'll take your word for it. Good luck out there, bud. Yep, good luck, guys. See ya. See ya. Oh, god, he's gonna take us over there. We're hooked up! We're hooked up! Got something big, dude. It's way out there. Is that the carp? Is that the carp or the gill? Yeah, I think it's the carp, dude. Oh, shit. Is that the bread bowl? Hey, bro, get this rod. Oh, oh wait. Is get that the bread bowl? Next to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that the bread bowl I had out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that's the holiday inn special right there. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay. I think I gotta get in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got you, bro. Oh, hey, hey. It's take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Holy shit. Oh, he's going, oh God, he's big, dude. He's stuck in there. I'm, I'm bringing it, I got a little gain on him. He's scared, he's scared of you. I, I got it, I gave a little bit. Dude, I cannot put much pressure on this fish, bro. He's probably about where you, he's behind you. He's behind you, Mike. He's still pin. Oh, he came off, he came off. No! He came off, dude. I know, I know. It was three feet long. Yeah. It, I, it broke I, off, dude. I had no way to land it. Because these pads made the land. I had to hook it. I had to, I had to net it in the head perfectly. But with the pads, it wouldn't get. And he kept getting scared. So an eight pound test. Yeah. On a, on a light rod. Because this thing was big. Oh my gosh. Hey, and good. then I tried to. Good man. effort, though. Good effort. Hey, at least we got. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, that's nasty, bro. This water is nasty. Yes. Woo. God, oh, it, oh my gosh! It was a giant. Now the good news is we I had just cast it out five minutes ago, and we got bit. All right, so we, we can. We do can't. This cannot be a carp rod, though. No. <laughs> this is not, folks. That was to the extreme. So that was like what a thirty-inch fish. Over thirty. I saw it. Over thirty. Holy cow! That would have been so gigantic. All right, we're gonna rig up with another rod proper, and uh, let's try to get one Get in there, baby. Oh. Oh! Oh! Let's go, baby! Give me that, baby. First New York fish. Oh, I got one! I got one! <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Dude, that's a different species! Let's go! Yes! Dude. You're not gonna believe this? Oh, my! This is actually a beautiful fish. How okay. big is it? It's five and a half. Really? It's shocking. Look, so, nose, zero right nose is on zero see the end of the tail that's over five and a half all day see this is what one rod and rackley did not want to happen <laughs> for yeah. us to get dialed yeah. in the first fishing of the trip we got a double up easy and two different species mind that so i think all these inches are adding up oh they are easily what was yours i haven't measured it yet i'm gonna say at least two. Oh, dude that is almost that is a Three and three quarters, but we'll call her we'll call her three and a half. Three and a half inch or uh, dude, that's pretty doggone close to four. I would I would rather call it four, but mine was a little over five and a half. So wait no dude, that's hundred percent four. Look. Yeah. Tail. Tail to the mouth. Dude, we got nine and a half <laughs> inches, baby. We're only allowed one bluegill or sunfish per team. What is this thing? Uh, you know, I would say a pumpkin seed sunfish. A pumpkin seed sunfish. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. You so serious? Yeah. All right, new species for me. This is my first ever pumpkin seed sunfish. First New York river fish, man. Nine inches, baby. Nine inches. Ah. This feels so good. I was so nervous last night. Now, 40, <laughs> 50 inches doesn't sound nearly as big. After those two little fish added up to almost 10 inches? Yeah. Come on. And we still got smallmouth, bass, pike, carp, drum maybe. Yeah, All the I, other fish that swim in here, trout. I think one ride Dude. at Lake Fork are feeling way too comfortable. And they said right they now. were sleeping in today. They probably they're probably <laughs> reeling in like a monstrous fish right now. <laughs> one to one. Okay, I got my line. Okay, I gotta let the bro. This is the this is the crappy hook 
I've got to take my time. That, oh, that bro. rod's going to be the one we get a big one. We on. both got to get in here. We're going to have to both get in there with the net. Bro, he's going. He's taking me down, down. Oh, my gosh. It's so heavy. It's super freaking heavy. You just feel weight? Oh, yeah. It's just weight. I can't even I can't even control this fish. We're going to have to get in here, bro. Yep. All right, grab the net. Let's get ready. Wait, get chase in. her down. What do you We got to chase her down. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's go. We're going downtown, bro. Get in here. It's huge. This one's the one. Is I want to bring her in slow. I don't want to freak her out because she has a lot of energy. Yeah. We want to keep her. We just want to ease her in. Ease her in a little bit. See how she's coming in nice and easy? This is exactly what we want. Get set up on the edge of the uh, pads. Get set up here. Oh, I think we got many more runs <laughs> left here. If this thing's only like 20 inches, dude, I'm going to be... Oh, bro. No, no, I, it, it's sure. over 25. Over 25 guaranteed. I just can't. I can't. I have not seen her yet. What? Have you seen her yet? Oh, my God. It's good. Oh, she saw you, bro. She saw you. Oh, no. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Oh! Let's freaking oh, go, you man. Got her and let's go. Yes. Look at that fish. That is an upgrade. That's a 25 that, for yes, sure. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> How do you like it? Dude, uh, it's a little cold on the old set. <laughs> Woo! All right, bro. You got the. <laughs> you have to measure me. Let's measure this baby. Dude, she's fat. That's not what we want, though. We want it long. Oh, this I girl's. Know. The weight was the fatness. <laughs> She's thick and girthy. Oh man! Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight on that rod, dude. <laughs> I have not seen. I, I have never seen a fatter carp. Imagine the length challenge. We get the fattest carp of all time. Twenty-three. 23. 23. So we've upgraded, but because she's so freaking fat, it was it, it is double the size of the last fish, weight wise. Weight wise, right, but yeah. length wise, we got two more inches. Hey, we'll take it. What do you think? You think we should stay here, try to upgrade? Like, I'll be honest, it's really just, hard to land these big carp. Yeah. It's really hard. And I found a spot where we got some real interesting species that I think you might have never caught before. I think we should do that because sitting here, like we're upgrading by inches at this yeah. point. It's a lot of work. And if we go catch another species that's yeah. only six inches long, yep. it's going to be just as exactly. effective. So now let's get this unhooked and then we're yep. going to make a move. Ah. That, my friends, <sighs> how you catch carp out of a river in Michigan, the old can of corn. <laughs> All right, guys, there's some slack water. This rock right here is providing like a little pool right behind it, where if I was a fish, I would hang out kind of right back there. So I'm gonna drop my worm down, see what happens. This all looks really fishy. Oh, I got one, dude, I got one. <laughs> oh, I got a bass, dude, I caught a largemouth. Oh my gosh, holy cow. I'm gonna bring him back. I can't. That is absolutely insane what you can catch in here. The three, we've got three fish all on the same bait and we have three different species. Now obviously it's the biggest fish from each species that counts at your total length. So I'm hoping we catch a bigger largemouth on this strip, but we're still going to measure them just because of it. But look at how healthy that guy is. Dude, I thought I had one of those big suckers on. He fought pretty hard in comparison to my last four inch fish, but we're going to give her the measurement. We are at a eight and a half incher so we'll just call it eight because i think we're gonna be able to replace it but dude first bass in new york that was pretty crazy <laughs> all right oh there we go oh oh i still have them i caught a goby i think new species for me dude again this creek is just holding all these wonders but this is a little goby so these things are actually they make bait like goby bait. He's like three and a half, we'll call it three just so we can remember easier. Three inch goby. Let's go. <laughs> We're out of them inches up. There he goes. Well guys, <laughs> we got three inches. I feel confident, but I'm sure this video right now is cutting over to Rackley and one rod reeling in an absolute giant. Yeah, we, I think I might want to get throw the frog. Yeah, I think we're... So I actually got a confirmed look at a perch, a yellow perch. So a lot of people in Texas just call perch, call bluegill perch. But we actually got a perch here. And I just watched one come up and try to grab it and it had that yellow, green, orange side to it. And they got like three bars, real pretty fish. Bro, that's the smallest yellow perch of all time. Uh, you got the scale? Woo! Drop shotting, a snacky swimmer, baby. 
beautiful little yellow perch. It ain't big, but you know, it's worth it. Six inches. That's bigger than I thought. Hey, six in, I think we can get a seven incher. Yeah. And uh, so that, that's 90, 98. Yeah, yeah 98. We're at 98. 98. Uh, let's go. We'll take it. When this snacky drops, you guys better pick it up. It'll be straight fire. Absolute fish candy right there. Yep. Come on! Move it on! Move it on! Move it on! Move it on! It's gonna break the line. Move it on! It's a big one, bro! Dude, how do we do this? Watch out! Move! Get in the boat! Let's go! Yeah! Whoa! That's a boatman, baby! Let's go! Yes, sir! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing! I cannot believe you got that in without breaking, bro. These guys have teeth that will fall through braid like This is 12 pound Guggen Mono. Can't go wrong. Oh. Yeah, I got the hook out. We're good. Got the hook out? Yeah. Right, we're gonna measure. Woo, 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 woo. Do not let him go. <laughs> Do not let him go. Hold him down on the ground again. Okay. Oh, Here's yeah. 21, 21 and a half. 21.5. 21, 21 and a half. Oh, whoa, whoa. Huge. Let's bro, go. Bro, dude. he's so long and slippery. How do you hold this thing? You got it. That is a prehistoric fish. <sighs> Family Amy a day. It is in its own class of fish. Look at that red tail. This thing is crazy, guys. <laughs> Dude, we made up for Ooh. so much ground right there. Oh, Holy thank you, cow. Bofin. Yeet. See you, buddy. Whoop. All right. What are we at, out. man? All right, so we were, we're at, at 98. 98. Eight? We were at 98 and a half. Yep. So add to that half, and we're at 99. And then plus, plus 21. 20, one. 120, baby. We're at 120. 120. We've reached our goal, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We've reached our goal. So 120 Dude, we was our goal inches for the day. yesterday, 60 inches today. And now, hey, that's crazy. We, we upgrade a little bit, maybe we get yeah, to 50 hey. tonight. So let's see what we can. Walleye, catfish. Yeah, we need that catfish still. Walleye, is that the main two that we're looking for? Yeah. Walleye, catfish. Yeah. Walleye, catfish. I mean, and if we could get a crazy pike. Yeah, that would be nice. like over 30, yeah. 35 to add to the mix, we might be a real, yeah. real serious business. So. You got a spot? I uh, just got some a more local knowledge. <laughs> Literally, some guys that walk by. They were Bro. like, hey, yeah. they gave us some more local knowledge, just told us they, they caught pike like a mile down the road. You want to go check it out? Big spinner baits, like thrown around the dock area, so might be worth it. Let's go check it? it out. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, I would say Creek Mission was a success. Major success. And I think every fish that we caught, we already didn't plan on catching anyways, besides like the bass and stuff. So I think we just basically got like a free 20 inches. At least. But we're headed to a spot where somebody on Instagram told us we could catch a carp. It's only five minutes away from here. We're gonna try that, then we have big plans later in the day to catch like our actual big fish. Yeah. So, uh, if we can catch this carp, it would be a fantastic bonus to the, be to the inches because I don't think we're gonna try targeting carp again this whole entire trip. So yeah. we basically have less than an hour to make this happen, but we got the corn, we got everything. And uh, yeah, if it keeps going like this, we might catch it up. I think we should. So now we're here at the Erie Canal. And apparently people feed ducks here. So what happens is when they're feeding the ducks, carp come up, other types of fish, and they come up and eat. So we're gonna throw some worms out here, some corn, see if we can't catch maybe a catfish, a carp, anything that would swim in the Erie Canal, basically. We need so. a freaking carp, dude. We need a 36 inch carp, because I think they're about 100 inches ahead of us right oh, now, wow. realistically. I'm gonna <laughs> sacrifice myself for the team. You gonna take the ducks that way? I'm going to. Okay. Well, we have our hook baited up, covered it in corn, so now Ao's trying to distract the dogs. Oh. <laughs> and bring them this way, so that way they don't eat the hook. Oh, it's working. I got a nice van. I got candy. I got candy. Genius plan. I'm on. I'm on. Come on, dude. Be a giant. <laughs> Norm! Come here, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need you so bad. It's big, buddy. Oh, it's so big. Weird. Let's go. I need dude, you can even let me take one cast. Do I need to help you land them? I, I caught so. Holy cow. I just don't want to horse them. We got eight pound test. I got them tummy up. Yes, we need you. You better grab that man. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. 
<laughs> yes! Dude, we gotta Congrats. get a length on yeah, We need to get a length. <sighs> Alright, so that's zero. Where's that 20 come to on his tail? Do you see? Yeah, yeah. I'd say, I'd say he's about 25, man. Alright, it's gonna be 25. <laughs> 25 inches? Yes, that's what we need. <laughs> Here, hold him, dude. It's your fish. Okay. Would you help me get the hook out of his mouth? Yeah, I got you. Oh, he's a slimy guy, huh? We needed you so bad. We just doubled our length with one fish. There he goes. Go enjoy some corn on me, bud. That's what I call easy. 52 inches now, brother. 52. Dude, come on. This might be the upset of the century. So, we're gonna try something called a garbage plate. We got the off brand, like Norm's Yeezys, the knockoffs. <laughs> <laughs> but the original garbage plates come from a guy named Nick Tahos. Looks like cheeseburger, some type of meat sauce, potato wedges, mac and cheese, everything just thrown into one. I like it though. Dude, it's freaking perfect. Nothing beats like a morning, a very successful morning of fishing, then just eating a ton of carbs, and then going back out. This is my dream way of spending a day, basically. Me too, dude. There is a lot of stuff in here. It looks like the inside of my arteries. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Right. <laughs> That's a bite. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Mmm. Tastes like a chili dog, kind Dude, of. Yeah, yeah. But more potatoes. There's a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Well, we're gonna finish up lunch, and then we have a subscriber who's gonna take us out on his boat. So we gotta hurry. I think he's already out there. So we're gonna shove this down our garbage chutes and uh, get out there and get fishing. For you guys, that was seconds, but that was an hour drive. But we are now in the mountains of North Carolina. North New York. New York. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we're meeting a subscriber here. I don't see him yet. There was a dude over there peeing by his truck, breaking the law. So I feel like we're at a spot where there's some fish, hopefully. Yeah. I just talked with one rod, too. He says they're almost at 100 inches. We're maybe at 50. So we got to double it here. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. We gotta catch at least 50 inches of fish while we're here. That's a pretty cool here. So my name is Billy Booth. I grew up around the Finger Lake region. Um, I've been fishing here with my dad, uncles, ever since I was young. Honeyway over here, this is like one of my favorite lakes. Really come in here, get a good quantity of bass. You go over to Canisius, get the size increase. Um, Cayuga, a lot of the pros go there for their tournaments. That's a really good fishery. But the Finger Lakes, Lake Ontario, one of the Great Lakes. Um, Lake Erie, we really have like one of the best fisheries in the country, possibly the world. We're at the final spot of the day. We're at 120 inches. Uh, we ran into a few more fans. Again, Michigan, we love you. Awesome fishing community up here. And we got some intel on another spot that might hold a large variety of species and there's a, there's a parking lot full right here so right off the bat I tell you it's probably gonna be pretty good but we got we're gonna walk out to the peninsula of the, the main oh, lake here. over here it's st clair right so if we can get a drum huge we can get a catfish huge might get the bowfin that was monstrous uh we've we've tackled a lot of big things off the list and 120 was our goal thought it might take around that to win but i think uh get one of these longer type fish we got this thing sealed, so fingers crossed. Uh oh, look what we found, bro! No way! <laughs> we got some, we got some Guggen fans <laughs> over here, a little bandito bug action. They forgot to, uh, they forgot to tear off the uh, for the action. They forgot to tear it open. Always, always spread your legs. <laughs> That's right. Spread your cheeks. <laughs> That's right. You gotta pop that open. I might throw that today. See if I catch one. That is, Michigan, love you guys. Love you guys. So much support up here. So. Amazing culverts right here. We just saw some people catching a, look like a channel cat, a yep. large channel yep. cat, yep. Uh, which we've been trying to catch for <laughs> hours and hours with no luck. So, oh, yeah. this is literally, this is uh, this is St. Clair. Really? So okay. So we could catch, uh, I think it's either St. Clair or Erie. Yeah, we catch anything out of here then. Um, literally catch anything. So Do it, wait, we got an hour, an hour to grind. Let's grind we're it we're at the prime time too. This is like where we started smacking them yesterday. So, let's get her done. There. Yeah. 
Here we'll we go, boys. There you go. Got him. There you go. Come Let's here. Go, Come here. <laughs> yes. 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 Dumped it. Just don't news there. Come on, give me 14. 14. 14 all day long. 14 inch. 14, baby. <sighs> mm. Billy put me right on the tactic. Going back down. It's crazy how similar it is, dude. Come like all the way across the country from south to north, fishing the same tactics we do in the Chattahoochee. It's awesome. So, I'm gonna try to be quiet, but there's a family swimming in their backyard. I took a cast, and do these Guggen reels, they just sling at the lunker log out there. I landed on their jet ski cover, and thank goodness it didn't hook it. I don't think anybody was looking, so we're just gonna keep moving on. And uh, try to hook a fish. That was a little embarrassing. That was a little awkward. Yeah, I had to hook him up with the blazons, man. It's my favorite Guggen bait of all time. The only one that I had kind of a say in what happened with it. So, got to design it a little bit. So, it's my favorite lure, man. But you're drop shotting it. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. We normally put it on a Texas rig and either swim it on top or like middle of the column or hop it like a regular uh, weighted Texas rig. So, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what you pull up on it. Is it super deep here, by the way? Uh, right now, we're in about like eight foot of water. This is usually where they hang around. All right. As you were saying, how I'm drop shotting, I did a uh, Texas rig, the drop shot. So it should be somewhat similar, but we're going to try it out and see. I always rig these paddle tails upside down, Dang dude. It. I'm dyslexic. Oh, this is bitter bait. Come on. Oh. There we go. He's be on. Big, be he's big. on. Be big. Drop that thing to the floor. Oh, he's not big. But... He's oh, it might do oh, something. Yeah. It might do something. Come on, baby. Show me 15. Dude, Mouth is 15. touching. Yeah, it's 15, baby. All right, 15 incher. Guys, caught her on the swim jig. Little white saucy swimmer on the back. All the fish I've noticed out here are really chunky too, really healthy. Uh, our Florida bass have like big mouths, but they're super skinny, but these are quite the opposite. And it's, they're just so much fun to catch. So there we go. That's an inch upgrade. Might not help out too much, but it sure is fun. Oh, dude, I was gonna give you a fish bump, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, baby. Team real. Dude, rig. we just need a pickerel or something. Oh, dude, that would oh. be huge. Then we'd be cooking. This boat trip would be so worth. One rod, more like no rod. Mm. You know what? I may do a worm. I may do a worm because I get a walleye or something. Oh, bro, the worms are like dried out and nasty. They're dried out and nasty. Yeah, they're, what they're done. Oh, they just got they just got too much sun. Yeah, they're all like I tried to hook them up and they're disintegrating and they're all smelly and stuff. Go, go, cup bait. Trust me. All right, trust. Cut baby on. Ooh, these fish are smelly, bro. That's how the catfish like them. I'm gonna go jump to the other culvert. Ooh, this is fun. How deep is it right here? Oh, it's shallow. It's real shallow in these culverts. I'm right in front of the culvert. I'm just gonna dangle it. I mean, a fish got to swim through here, right? Oh, I guess I should check my line. I caught the bowfin on this. My line's good. While I'm dangling, I'll look for somewhere. To, I'll see what we got for the eating options. Actually, I need to catch a walleye. You're right. Yeah, let me see what's over here. Let me see what people are catching here. I think I need. I think I need to catch a walleye. Oh yes, sir! Fresh bait. All right, let's upgrade our catfish lines. Hmm. Think cast pretty far. Got him. There we go. Oh, dude. Dude, it's actually a big bass. It's not, it's not a big girl, but it's definitely our biggest bass yet. Yes. There we go, dude. Nice. Come on. That is not a bad one. We were just about to move to different spots or go across the lake, and I was just dragging my jig one last time. And there was a big bass out there, in the, literally in the middle of the lake. Really? Yeah, I got stuck in a grass mat, the cast before, and then uh, threw one more time. 17 inches. Yes! Good work, brother. Thanks. Oh, that was a... Sorry. That was a man slap. I was really happy. That's okay. That net job was impressive, eh? That was a pretty good net job. All right. See you, bro. All right. Well, ew, at least that maybe secures our, our big bass of the trip. You know what I mean? I sure hope so. Because now they're going to have to catch an 18-incher to beat that. Got him. There we go. Are you kidding me? 
Curious, stay down, baby. Stay on. What? Dude, he's running this way. He's Wait. running quick. Dude, it's another good bass. He's blind in one eye. Dude, it's like an 18 incher. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> dude, that look one. at that. Look at his, his eyes gone. Dude, we may have found a trench out there. Dude, that is crazy, guys. We're just casting a no man's land. <laughs> Look how they're eating it, dude. Dude, that is ridiculous. Dude, the little juicy jig, little rattling chunk trailer. Mm. Guys, the rattling chunk, I'm telling you, it's slept on. I like the crack and crawl and all, but a lot of times I'll even just Texas rig that trailer. Because a little rattle in there gives a little bit of noise. Some dirtier water out here, I think it's the ticket. Dude, that is a fat one, dude. That's like a two and a half pounder, maybe three. It's not even that long. It's just chunky. And <laughs> I know. Well, we'll still give her a, a measure. Yeah. yeah, it's another 17 inch dude, but that's significantly bigger than the last one. It is. Because it's so much fatter. <sighs> well, guys, 17 inch isn't going to help at all, which is such a bummer, but it's a big one, man. It's, it's, it's fun. Dude, we got to catch a pick roll, dude. We have to. That's all I'm focused on. Dang, I've never been so disappointed to catch a nice bass. Thank you, buddy. So pike slash pickerel slash anything else besides a bass did not go as planned. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back, we're going to another lake and attempt bank fishing it and Dang. maybe try to catch our first smallmouth and also, you know, mess around, maybe throw a live worm out, see what it eats. But uh, yeah. we need some different species. And we're hoping top water when the sun goes down tonight. Oh my god, that'd be so mm. much fun. Call it dirty. Alright, so we're gonna head back in guys, we'll see you at the next lake. Number 54, uh, Hemlock Candace State Forest is where we're at. Time to catch our first smallmouth ever. You ready? Ready for pipe or a pickerel or anything nuisance -y. Yep, anything that's not a largemouth bass. Anything that we don't want to catch, we want to catch here. For now on, every largemouth bass we catch, we're killing it on the spot. <laughs> Come on, be a, be a small mouth. I, I don't know. Gee dang it, dude. It's okay though, I could tell by that hit that it wasn't gonna be a big one. If I do catch one, I want it to be a tank. Thanks, buddy. Sun's going down. Oh, my top water. We gotta get to the deep point before the sun goes down. I'm gonna hit a light jog. Oh, dude, I got one. Please be a smallmouth, dude. Dude, it's pulling good. Ayo, it's pulling good. Oh, it's a smallie, I think, dude. It's either the longest and skinniest small, uh, large mouth or it's a smallie. It's a pike? <laughs> don't come off. We need you. New species. Don't be a dude. Is it a large mouth? No, it's not. Thank goodness. I'm pulling them up. No risks. Yeah. <laughs> New species. New species. Inches. 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 Ao. Inches. Yes. All right. Pickerel slime in my mouth. Dude, Let's he see. is elongated, dog. Oh, that's a lengthy man. All right. Let me turn it. All right, so get the tail. Oh, that tail is going to give us a little bit of extra points, too, Come man. On. Zero. Zero. That is uh, right at the green. Let's call that 19. Yeah. 19 if we're generous, 20 if we're trying to cheat. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. That's a big. <laughs> that's big. Hey, oh, come on. Give it to me, man. That is 20 or 19 more inches added. That means this whole walk, we probably walked a mile and a half. Was for nothing. The sun's going down. We can keep on fishing. And honestly, it's probably good because we were targeting smallmouth. So we haven't even knocked off the inches that we could yeah. use for a smallmouth. And even if we don't catch it tonight, we still have more days to add on the smallmouth. So, dude, I'm so happy something big. came of this. That, that was, was um, We needed that. If we went to bed tonight without that fish. I would have felt like a waste of space. Yeah, that is definitely. That, might, that fish right there might have just kept us in the game. Like, that might keep us from just being completely blown out. Puts us at 70? I think so. We're in the 70s now. That sounds good, man. They're, they're 40 inches above us. We can do it. We can do that. All right. Anyone need to bring anything in? I think we're good. I'm bringing some water. 
We've traveled around the state. Amazing day, running into more fishermen and Guggenswald fans that have helped us out. Uh, never could get that catfish tonight. That really would have been huge. But tomorrow the game plan is we are going out on the lake. We're gonna try to upgrade our large mouth, small mouth, and try to get anything else possibly. Walleye. Walleye, white bass. Drum. Drum. There's, a, there's a lot of one. stuff left that we need there's to catch. A ton. There's also the musky. If we get a musky, it's game like, over. It's, it's game over. So uh, a lot more action left. It's been action packed. You don't want to miss it. All right. So um, well as you guys can tell, it's getting dark out. We have like a mile and a half walk back in the dark, so we kind of want to get started. We're gonna call it for today. We gotta go find a hotel, something to stay at. Yeah. Maybe get a little bit of dinner, spend a little bit of our budget. We're running low on money, so we gotta make this last the last day. So we might have to do like a little bit of a McDonald's dollar item. Yeah. <laughs> dinner. We can do it. Something like that, because we ate our watermelon. It's got us to this point, but we might need uh, some protein. So, anything you want to add to today, overall? Feel good, man. Feel good. Yeah. Feel nice. Yeah. Got to see Rackley twice on FaceTime, so I feel really good. That was cool. All right. Well, we're uh, signing out. So wherever we go to next, uh, we got beautiful Hello. merch here. Yep. So September you guys should go check it out. <laughs> Link in description, baby. And also, if you would look at. The shoes, I just realized there's bandito bugs and fish in the camo. So, that's awesome. I don't know why you guys aren't spending all your money on this stuff if I say you should go buy it. Listen to me. Yep. Well, energy is low. We're going to go get some food. food. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. What's cracking, y'all? We got a beautiful morning up here in Michigan, and me and Mike are gonna be on our last day of dangling, and hopefully gonna take home the dub on this statewide competition here. A little promo for you guys. We have a sale going on right now that is going to help you get the Guggen truck at guggensquad.com. Every $5 you spend is gonna get you an entry to get that beautiful Guggen truck. Going all the way to December 31st. Crazy long, long sale. Yeah. And what else do we got here? We got our new spinning reel. We got the gold series and the green series spinning reels. Uh, these are awesome guys. We've been using these all week up here and catching some fish of all sizes. Oh, I'm like pulling yeah. drag on these things. So look out for those. And what else we got? We always got something new and interesting. Oh, we got we got all kinds of surprises for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned. Now, without further ado. Let's go win this competition. What's up, bro? Oh, good to see ya. I heard you had a little trouble this morning. My bad. No, you're good. I mean, we yeah. just finished rigging up. This is perfect timing. Are the tire issue? How you doing, bro? Yeah. Good to meet you, Michael. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. I like your hat, man. Hell yeah, appreciate it. What are you guys rigging up? Yeah. Pop we don't pop know. Water we're just a bunch of... You know, noobs out here on yeah. St. Clair. Yeah, hopefully we can get on a couple this morning. Swim Dude, baits beautiful, and tubes, man. mad rigs and everything. Okay, right. yeah. okay. Seems like last time I was with the Googans, I got a flat tire too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're getting all the bad luck out of the way right now. Hell yeah, we'll find them out there. It should be a really nice day. It's beautiful out there. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Amazing. So, yeah. what can we help you with? Yeah. Get the cover off? And yeah. Get her going. All right. So, Dude. you know, usually you come out, you want to catch like a beautiful bass, yeah. big smallies. Yeah, That's right. not what we're looking I mean, we want to catch smallies, yeah, but yeah. really we'd like to catch a long muskie, a long pike, and even the trash drum that you yeah. guys like. Yeah, you know, you got, that's a trash fish. White bass. Yeah, we could go for a white bass. Yeah, drum. The river with help. A wall, other yeah. walleye in here? Yeah, there, we, we can go for walleye yeah, in I, the river. My dad was just out here the other day and caught a muskie, a walleye perch in the river. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Dude. White so, bass. If yeah. we could be, if we could have a chance to catch like, you know, thrown out for any of those species yeah. and then like increase our odds, that would be huge for us. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely we but can we add, we can add about yeah. 10 inches Probably with uh, large mouth and small mouth. Yeah, right. and well, we still want to get a, like too. a tw uh, ideally a nice large ear small. You get that ten inch bonus. Oh yeah, that's that, right. Yeah, the 10 inch so bonus. really, we'd be adding twenty inches. Yeah, we got to beat good. seventeen. Norm and Ao, their biggest bass is seventeen inches, so we got to beat seventeen. That is a little. That's a nice little that's bonus nice. there. Yeah. Biggest fish of the trip again, 
is uh, 10, yep. 10 inches, and then these bass, these bass is 10 inches. So, so there's we, we want to sweep the these guys. We want to double their total length. With the bonuses, they're about 75. They have both bonuses right now. We're at 120. So we want to steal oh, those bonuses and double their length. Right. Just put the nail in the coffin today. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Good morning. All right, guys. We spent $200 last night with the hotel room and room service. And we Water left fries. everything out of the fridge. So we're gonna take advantage of the morning breakfast for free. I think we have about $150 left or $140. $140. $40 for gas and food. And then $100 for our fishing mission this afternoon. Yes. Let's go eat breakfast. Well, we got apple juice, we got pancakes. Might bust down on some Fruit Loops and uh, get some calories in, get energized. Go catch some fish. We don't even know where we're going this morning. No, we don't. We need a spillway or some type of river. Yeah. Deep water. We, be shallow. we have a trip this evening, which could, could be, be the game winner. I know we've said that two days in a row now, but this one, we mean it. We mean it this time. All right, guys, we're here at Sodus Bay. We're gonna fish for a little bit. We're waiting on Ben to get here, so we have a couple hours. We bought some worms, we bought some terminal tackle, and we have all of our bass gear too, so we might mess around, try to catch something, whatever is here at the pier. Norm? Yeah? I'm making eye-to-eye -eye contact with a bluegill. It's gonna change the whole trajectory of this game. Got him. No way. Yes, sir. Yes! <laughs> it's not even that big. I thought it was a lot bigger. I think it's like grandma's down there. That's six inches, buddy, all day. I don't even know what kind of sunfish this is, but it's another inch and a half, because what was the other one? No, it's another two inches. The other one was four inches flat, right? Yep, upgrade. I'm gonna try to catch this one's grandma. Oh. Oh. Oh, Rock what's that? That's a new species. Come on. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> I told you, dude. Give there me a nice go. crevice and I'll perform. Dude, is that a rock bass? That's a rock, that's a chunky rock bass. <gasps> dude, that's, that's a, straight oh. inches from zero. Dude, that's a right? I caught, I actually caught a rock bass in the creek first morning. Stretch for me, buddy. That's eight and a half. Eight and a half, Norm. Let's go. Another three inches, dude. Booyah. Could be my rock bass PB, not the flex or anything. Thanks for the three inches. We start out, we got some good carp. We got... Uh, man, we tried like hell for catfish. We really? never get a catfish. Uh, we caught small perch, uh, gills. What else did we get, Mike? That was uh, oh, bowfin. Bowfin. Oh, that, bowfin. Was that was huge. That's that was sweet. Yeah, Mike got a bowfin. Was that a pretty big one or what? It was 21. 21 inch. That's a nice one. It was pretty good. Water looks like we're in the ocean. Yeah, it's still way up here a little. I just wow. want to start here though. So right now we're offshore. We're on a little grass bed out here and we're we're trying to catch anything long. So we definitely want to upgrade on our smallmouth and largemouth. And we would love to catch a pike. And if we get really lucky and we get a random musky, that would just be the game ender, I think. Um, there's also white bass in here, which always seem to, to latch on to my lures. Rock bass, rock bass as well. We have the opportunity, I think, to get possibly 70, 80 inches today if we really play our cards right. And we've been averaging 60 inches a day and it gets harder every time you catch a new species because you have less opportunities. Michigan's awesome. There's tons of species up here. We are, it feels like we're in the ocean and anything could happen. So I'm loving it, man. Come out, crew. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Figure eight of them. Figure eight of them. Oh, there's a muskie down there. There's a oh, muskie down there. Oh, Bro, there's two fish oh, following me. Oh, he got it. He's chasing it. Oh, oh God. Dang. Dude, oh, they, they, they followed him in on the freaking revolver. Oh, I had one too. Yeah, oh, there's, there's a big skull. Oh, my big God. Skull. Oh, my God. There's a ton of them. Oh, my God. We're on a whole school. Look at those. Holy. Again, the bite. These are giants. We got to get it fired up. Did you see that? Yes, they're monstrous. Dude, I thought I had a bite on it a second ago. Bro, we're about to beat Norm 17 inches right here. Holy we gotta get one of them to hit us. Oh, 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 bro, what is that? A smolly? Dude, it's a smolly. Oh my god. Dude, that's a monster. Holy shit. Get him to hit. Dylan, what do we do? Holy shit. How do we get him to hit? 
get the, oh oh that was a God. monster. Dude, I just had like a seven pound smallmouth ball in my jerk bait. <laughs> no joke. Oh Dylan, my what, God. Like, what's our I'm not even, it looked right like a bulldog. Freaking fins. Drop shot. Holy. Dude, I, I am freaking I'm going out crazy. right now. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> Did you see Holy all those small? Do you see him? <laughs> it looked like a pack of I bulls. I thought it was a pike or something when I first saw him. Oh my god. How dude. did we not get one? Oh, I'm shaking, dude. I'm, li I'm, I'm about to tie on a jerk bait. <laughs> that was a freaking toad. Oh my god. I don't know how dude, one I of us one, didn't catch one. I had one bite it. Well, I made a far cast. I had a bump. I was bump. freaking out right there. Oh my god. That's the craziest yeah. shit I've ever, ever seen. <laughs> they were like, they were like hyenas to, to, coming in for the kill. To compare that, okay, so I've never been out on this lake, but to compare that to like largemouth for you guys, that would be like a pack of like five or six 10 pounders following a spinner bait in. Oh, Joe. That is literally <laughs> what we just saw. That was incredible. Five or six 10 pound largemouth. They were even following your top water. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what I think I saw them first. Oh my God. <sighs> Are they still around here? We gotta get one of those. Yeah, we do. Man. We're not even to the good spot yet. Holy crap, dude. That, it's that was like so. That, that was epic. <laughs> dude, this might be good for like some free extra points. You know what I mean? Because I think like this challenge could get, come down to like a couple inches. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. Come on. I got one. What is it? What is that? I don't know what it is. Oh, dude, look at all the fish behind it, dude. I'm gonna keep them in the water. All dude, right. is that a smallmouth? No, it's a largemouth. Dude, I cannot get away from largemouth this whole trip. Dog. There was three of them with them. Well, guys, here I go again. <laughs> Just you know, catching all the multi-species. Wake up this morning thinking I'm gonna catch something different besides a largemouth bass, and it doesn't matter where I go. I promise you guys this curse is real. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Yeah, my first Lake Ontario bass. That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's a bass. <laughs> All right, well, fishing with a crowd. It seems to be the, the theme of New York every time we go fishing yeah. you know, with a carp. Going. But, dude, that's pretty cool. Scenic place to catch fish. They're down there, man. There's massive boulders. Don't let this guy go. Oh, got one. What is that? <laughs> Dude, it's another largemouth. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, another largemouth bass. It's a little bit bigger, though. <laughs> you guys want to touch it? Yes. Oh, no? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Largemouth bass, baby. You stick with it. Dude, you're so good at catching those largemouth. Yeah. Too bad I had to put that team oh, on my back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm letting my largey go. Oh, I'm tangled. I got another sunfish. It's another species, but we're only keeping one of every sunfish. Do you want to call that eight, my good friend? Yeah, that's eight, man. That's eight. That's eight. Yes. I don't even know what we're adding up to now, but it's looking good. I got an eight inch sunfish, eight and a half inch rock bass. That's what we got so far off the pier. Beautiful fish, though. And he's dookieing all in my hand. Mm. Appreciate it, buddy. Well, at least you didn't ask a group of kids if they wanted to touch a fish. Really? Why yeah. would you do that? I don't know. So me and Norm have been talking. We just saw a gigantuous pike pickerel. I don't really know the difference, but if we cut this thing in half, I have a feeling there could be a giant drum. We also saw a couple boats come through here, filleting fish, just chunking in huge fish fillets. So I know that there's trash fish down here feeding up. Why not fish with what they really want? We are gonna leave the pier now. We have about two hours until we embark on the first offshore Ontario sin me and Norm have ever done together. So I think that's gonna be the ticket to winning this competition. I know One Rod and Rackley are mighty comfortable right now. They've been posting on Instagram saying that they've already won this thing. I think we have a trick up our sleeves that might be a huge comeback story. Wow, fancy. Yeah, all right. This is where we either win this challenge or lose this challenge. And I think we're going after like salmon and trout or 
I don't even know what, but you've never caught any before. I have, so we're gonna let you go first. So this is on you. Thanks, brother. You ready? We just Put gotta the meet the guy. What's up, man? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you, bro. It's our last hundred dollars for the whole challenge for gas. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. If we don't catch fish and we lose, we're gonna take it back. Yeah, no problem. I'm okay. taking it back. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> it's a joke. I've never been skunked down this lake, believe me. Really? Oh, uh, uh, well, I don't say, say that. that. We're good. here, man. We're here to skunk. We have the north. I got good reports. We're gonna crush them. Snacky? On the little tiny. Oh one. my god. Oh, it it's a small mouth. It's good a one. small mouth. Good one, dude. Want me to get the net? Are you on a flip? Yeah, it? No, 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 no. We need the net. You good? I got one. I got a, I got this. I got the accessory net. Oh, you got the no, big no, no. net. We're okay, gonna get big net out. Oh, dude, that's a solid. Dude. Oh. Let's oh, go. Nice. Oh, nice. Let's go. Right. First cast <laughs> was a tiny swim bait. That's crazy. I've never thrown that small of a swim bait out here. They might yeah, be doubted on that tiny stuff. Yeah, dang. Oh, that's snacky. Woo. This guy might be, I don't know, oh, 16, we're getting the 17. There's a yeah, tape right inches. there. You got a tape right here? Yeah, right here. Look at that. Literally tied on my, my crappie gear. Got a pretty big mouth, actually. Yeah, he does. Settle down, you muscular beast. Come on, dude. We're doubled Fish up. All right. right. We're doubled up on the mini clutch. Woo. I think we're on him now. This water is so freaking beautiful. Look at this. You can see him all the way 18, to the bottom. 18. 18. 18. Let's go. That's, 10, that's 20 points for us. Let's go. I right, will flip him in. I think I flip him. Yeah. There you go, Mike. Nice. Doubled up, baby. First smallmouth. All right. 18. On St. Clair. Woo. On the board. <sighs> Feels good, man. I think we got him fired up. Bro, how many points? How many points additional is that? Our biggest smallmouth before was 15. So three inches plus 10, because we got the biggest bass. Right. 13 plus inches on right there. Yeah. 133. I got the crawfish colored mini clutch tied on. Look at that. Yo-yoing it right off the grass near the bottom. Beautiful two pound smallie. That's how you start the morning off right there, my friends. Woo! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> At least this water's clean. <laughs> Not like that lake uh, here on water. That thing, that stuff was nasty. Woo! All right, we're getting back in there. I think we figured something out. Two bites in a row after an hour of fishing. Got him on the snacky swimmer. Mini clutch. Time to upgrade. Here we go. There you go. Feels good. Oh, oh, oh. God. There we go. Big in. Crappie jig supreme, baby. Just doing a little crappie fishing out here on the Great Lakes. Catching big brown ones. Long. Yes, oh, sir, that's baby. A that's a Let's big go. one. Oh, holy dude, crap. Dude. That might be like four and a half, maybe five. Yeah, it's long. It's what we like. Big face, beautiful head. Love to see it. Boom! Smoke the crap out of that. <laughs> All right, let's get a quick, uh, quick measurement on this guy. I'm going to say he's like 20. 20 and a quarter. That is taking the lead for a big bass, getting that extra 10 inches. Got to give it a sniff. Yeah, baby. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> See you, baby. Awesome. There he goes. Man, so they're running in these packs. So every time we've we've gotten a bite, there's been more with it. Started out with that jerk bait, now they're bigger baits. And we were just getting the bites, but they weren't hooking up. So I literally tied on a crappie jig, thinking I could uh, maybe get a big perch with this, possibly get a smallmouth bite, and I am. I've got two bites on that so far. This is the same crappie rig I use at home. Well, it's a thousand size Guggen Green Series reel. It's uh, our micro series. Dang. I need another one of those in my life, dude. That jump was... Yeah, that was epic. Okay. Oh, it's running at me. It's running at me. Oh, that's big. It's big. Ah, it's big. It got off. No. I had pressure. That was either a muskie Bro, or a that that was huge. Mouth. Fudge, dude. Oh my, oh my gosh. It was, was at you, bro. it was coming right at me. Yeah. I was throwing the spinner for the last two hours, waiting for that moment. <laughs> Got smashed. Yeah. I had the pressure on. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else I could have done there. Yeah, nothing really. He, just he jumped jump. up. He just jumped. That right there, I mean, that would have put the nail in the coffin, yeah, guys. That, that would have been a game-ending fish. I I, it's a lose-lose for me. Either I got a long fish and we end the game, or that would have been a PB smallie. Either Keep our head like in the game. I'm get back in there. So how many inches we're at? We're at 120, then you caught the smallie for five, right? Yeah. So five plus five, so 125. And that's biggest bass, too. So we're now also at 135 right now. 135. Yeah. And if I had landed the big fish, 
We're not going to talk about that, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. That was depressing. That was a giant. Oh, I'd love to hear about that. Thanks, yeah. man. I'm love it. Bring it up. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks Loving for coming, here, guys. Dude. This this is good stuff. Yeah, we're giant getting... smallmouth out here, and now we're gonna change it up, look at something different, and uh, I think we can get over 150 inches easily today. Oh yes, so for sure. All right, so guys, we're headed out. It's so funny because we were just standing right here behind you guys in the pier, fishing for three hours, and now we actually get to head out. See the lake. Apparently the waves are gonna be kind of rough, but uh, this is Ao's first time doing any time anything like this yep. fishing wise. This is my second time ever fishing like this, so I think you gotta go first, dude. Uh, I'm I want I want to see you catch something, but the, we were looking at the size of the net, and that <laughs> that's the a pretty big net. net. Yeah. So hopefully we'll put something in there, and uh, I think I think we'll make it happen, man. I'm just trying to stare at the horizon, not get seasick. Uh, Cause I'm already kind of feeling a chill, but I'll be, I'll be good. I'll be fine. You're fine, dude. Hey guys, I'm Ben. Uh, I grew up on Lake Ontario, working at a marina. Lake Ontario offers some of the best fishing. We get some of the biggest kings, some of the biggest steelhead. Way back in the day, this was pretty much solely native with Atlantic salmon. Now it's pretty much all stocked with king salmon, brown trout. We do still have some Atlantic salmon, but they're pretty rare. He's in Atlantic. Is it Atlantic? And we have steelhead as well as coho salmon. The goal for today is to catch a big king, get these guys some inches, and maybe get on some big browns and maybe a big lake trout. A big bonus lake here would be nice. We'll see what happens. The time's been pretty deep, so we may run into a couple steelhead, we may not. Get ready, AO. Get ready for that tug, man. Get ready for that tug so we can get some inches. Be on there. All right, AO, that's you. That's you. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice oh, dude, oh, it doesn't feel tiny. I don't want to go too slow. I think they got soft mouths, right? They they got like soft mouths, so yeah. that's so like when he's when he's doing that, don't pull back. Let the rod do the work. Oh, it's working. Dude, he is just dogging down there. I don't want to apply too much pressure with a soft mouth. That's the worst thing you can do in this situation, especially when inches are involved. Oh, he's swimming up. No. Okay. Smooth with it. Hey, we need these yeah, inches. No pressure, man. Extent, but we need this. This is so us. big. It's for our reputation. Oh, please. Come here, girl. <laughs> Be a huge brownie. Oh, she's lengthy. What we need. Now reel to that, reel to that spoon. Okay. Then lift up and walk back. So lift up. Lift it up. Let's go, baby! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what is that? Is that a brown? That's a brown, yeah. Let's go, dude. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna look at the horizon for like one second. <laughs> That's exhilarating. That's really fun. That's what we needed, Norm. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's long, dude. We're gonna keep this one as a keeper. So, guys, we found a measuring tape. So, we're currently at 87 inches. So, we're gonna measure this and see how much it adds. All right, that's jawed up. 21, baby. 21 inches. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, 87 Woo. plus 21, quick math. That is 108. We hit the triple digits. Dude, come on. Triple digits. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're so seasick right now. I'm proud of myself because normally I have the first one. I think I got another 20 minutes before it happens, but I'm up next. <laughs> We're at 107. And next, apparently the fish get way bigger than 20 inches. Not nice natural, but good job catching this walleye. There you, oh, you, I was like, you about to lip him? <laughs> Maybe. Damn. Dang, that's, that's a really nice that's one. That's what I mean. Holy crap. Oh, look at the leeches on them, too. Look at these really? parasites. Yeah, oh, right yeah, there. dang. Check that out. <laughs> really beautiful walleye, guys. We were trying to target a walleye, too, so that's really cool. I got on one. On the drop shot, there's a bunch of walleyes in all these river systems here on St. Clair, so... Maybe we'll hook up onto a couple more. I I, I would think? I would love to get one because this is like a 21, 22 inch fit, yeah, 20 inch can, fish. Uh, we can measure real quick. Yeah, we need those inches. Yeah, 20 and a half. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this side. Look at all the dude. It's stacked. The pairs are just there, crawling. They're stacked on this back fin. Look at that. 
There's, oh, there's a little That's leech nasty. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, bro. Holy crap. I, I wouldn't eat this one, I don't think. Well, I really could. Oh, I'm on! I'm on! I'm on! Pike! Oh, Pike! Must, Pike! Pike must be something. Where's the net? Pike, Pike. Oh, it's Pike. Pike. Oh, it's not huge. I can flip him. First Pike of the day, baby. This must fire! Woo! Oh. Watch your hooks. Watch your hooks, boys. Woo! This guy is long and skinny, man. Yeah, he is. Anyone got pliers? There's some. Oh, right there. Oh, right here, right here. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> long and lengthy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Bam. Oh, there dude, that, that pike is aggressive. Good job, dude. Finally landed something on this giant inline spinner. Been throwing it all freaking day. Had bites, lost fish, got a pike. There you go. It wasn't over 24 inches, but I have a feeling if I keep throwing this, I'm gonna catch a giant. Oh, come on, come on. Little guy? Is he on there? He's on there. Trump's on there, oh yeah. Come on, no harm. Good one or no? Uh, no, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Check it out. Check that drag. Come on, buddy. Woo! We're on, baby. Good for the southeasterns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is fun, man. It's like you're boat fighting fish? the boat motor, you're fighting the fish. You're fighting for first sickness. place and seasick. Fighting it all at the same yep. time. And all my high school friends who said I never amount to anything, fighting them too. That's right. Yep, that's what they get for shoving me in a locker. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's really happened to me one time. Yep. <laughs> Where are they? Not New York. They're probably right. like. You got a pink weight coming in hot. Woo! Stay right there. Be a salmon, baby. That would be epic. Oh, oh, dude, it freaking came out of the water oh, like a tarpon. Oh, there's another one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we're doubled <laughs> up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there. Okay, guys. guys, we are there doubled up right now. <laughs> this might be a different species. Give us the inches. <laughs> there we go. We're talking oh, feet. Oh, my frag is losing my pants. Hold on, hold on. I'm this guy. Oh, am I wrapped up? Uh oh. Oh my god, spit out. No. no. Barely up. Don't, don't come, come off, don't come off. Yes! New species. Atlantic. Is it Atlantic salmon? Yeah. Shut up. You, you gotta release that one. I think. That's Atlantic. Oh my god, it's an Atlantic. It's an Atlantic. <laughs> that might mean something. I thought we were at Lake Erie, not the right Atlantic Ocean. I've caught three Atlantics in my life. Are you mess? Are you pulling no, my leg right now? It's an Atlantic. It's got a. So we could potentially here. catch another one as well. Oh, yeah. Wait, you so that's a different species. Yeah, there's no species. way. You said you cut. Hold up. That's an Atlantic. Let it go. It's Atlantic. It's unicorns. Yeah, you don't catch You've only caught three of these ever. Yeah. And You're not messing lot. with me. You promise. One, two, twenty. Dude, that might be twenty-three with the other side of his tail. Well, guys, we just caught an Atlantic salmon, which apparently is rare. If I'm not being messed with, no, no. you've only caught three. I've you caught a couple. There's not many of them. Okay. All right. We're gonna let him go because he's not keeper size. But that's 23 inches added. Yep. Holy cow! All right, buddy. See you, man. Just let him. Uh, it goes. In the last five years, I probably run 400 trips, and I've probably seen four of them. That's You're probably number five. Yeah. Wow. Like I said, that's a that's extremely rare fish. I mean, like, so that was not part of the plan at all today. So that's just that bonus inches. Yeah. Complete happy accident. That was awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Dude, They're I got goosebumps. I can't <laughs> believe that, man. I don't even, it was just so cool. Guys fish this lake their entire lives and won't catch one. Their whole lives and won't get, catch one. Wow. I don't know. That, I might just use up all my luck for the year. That was 23 inches of a fish that we weren't even talking about because it was going to be so rare to catch. That might have just won us a thing, dude. If we can just execute the rest of the day. Can we get one more to execute for you. We'll be all right. We'll get it. One more. We gotta get a king. That's all right. We catch a, we catch like one more species, man. I can't wait to call one rod and Rackley later tonight because I think it's gonna be so close. I'm just nervous that they're just killing it with extreme outdoorsmen. Yeah, unless they caught like a 60 inch muskie. Which they very well could because that dude is a man's man. Yep. That's it. We gave it our best shot. Absolutely grinded, dude. Yeah. Trying to get the long fish. We, we caught so many smallmouth. Some monster smallmouth. Huge shout out to Dylan. Yeah. Uh, to get sweet. on some absolute toads. But the walleye eluded us. Yep. You got one. I got one. We didn't walleye. get one. 
Uh, big pike, big musky. We left some meat on the bone. Yeah. For Norm and Ao. Norm and Ao. They're going really out tonight. I don't know what they're going for. Yeah, sturgeon, probably. Yeah, what else would they go for? Big sturgeon, musky, pike. All those things bite really well at night. Now, last I heard, they had 55 inches. We currently have 145 inches. So they're gonna have some ground to make up, but with those two, you never know what's gonna happen. One yeah. sturgeon changes the game. Yeah, absolutely. So, I guess it's up to them now. Yeah, that ball, the ball's in their court. We'll see what happens. So we either have a fish that got on earlier that we didn't realize, or we're tangled in weeds. But I'm currently re reeling in copper wire. Oh, there it is. Little guy. Hey. oh, you got one. Yeah, he's oh, on hey. there. What do we have? Hey. I guess it's a little brown that just... Oh, oh, you know what? That's a king you can measure. Woo! But there's a salmon you can measure. That is my first king, ladies and gentlemen. That is a one-year-old. Oh my gosh. Let me. I apologize for the length of that thing. You can measure it because I don't want to. <laughs> Sorry. I am so proud of this moment. All right, let's give her a little she's stiff, tail so touching. She's, she's uh, stretched out. Where are we at? We're talking, man, we're talking. Is that 14? Dude, that's 14. 14 all day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little fish in the gullet as well. I'll take the rod from if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that, though? Is that a baby? Uh, oh, dude, that's, what is it? That's, that's two that's inches. That's two all inches. Day. Easy. Light work. <laughs> Boom. Fish slayer, baby. Dude. I think we got something there. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Yeah? Is something on here? Yeah. Can I go for it? Go yeah, for yeah. It. Run it, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not tiny. Yeah, you got 400 feet of line out there, so some of that weight is just a lot of top. Okay. We'll be fighting this for a while. Sweet. Bow flip them. Should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll flip them, dude. Don't that? tempt me with a good time. Let's see what it is. Is it a brownie? Oh, easy on it. What is that? Brown. Brown? Yep. Is it it's an upgrade from that other Definitely upgrade. Oh, dude, that's a fat one, dude, too. Dude, that one, yeah. wow, that, my arms are on fire, dude. It feels like I just pumped biceps for 30 minutes straight. You did, man. I was hoping it as well. Still a good time, and we're upgrading a couple more inches. Dude, imagine if that was a different species, though. Dude, I think we're finally like we're it's rolling quick. I think we're gonna catch another species. It is. But. Look at that tummy, dude. Beautiful fish. Hey, let's get a measurement. All right, you want know. a tail? That's a 21 again. Wow. It's just fatter. It's so much fatter. Yeah, it's 21. 21. It's been pretty awesome, man. Dude, this is fun. And we still have opportunities for like more common. Like we've knocked the hard ones out. I feel yeah. like we have some like easier species to catch. So. We're just getting to the nitty gritty. Like one yep. fish is a huge yep. game changing fish right now. And as the sun goes down too, it's just gonna keep getting better more and more intense. And better and better. <laughs> we might win this thing, dude. We're close. So, sun's going down. We got about two hours. We just tried FaceTime and the boys, but we don't have any reception, so we can't talk to them. But we think it's a really close game. If we catch one big king salmon, right? Yep. That could maybe put us over the edge. We're marking stuff now on the graphs. And as the sun's going down, I think they can get really active. So we just gotta land whatever bites next. Can't lose it, and we might win it. Oh, it feels tiny. Better than nothing. Oh, he's already, he's, he's coming up. Yeah, King, he's flashing. Yeah, be, be a new species. This is what we're gonna need this to be, just so we can add some inches. Oh, uh, 14? We'll beat that. Okay, an upgrade? <laughs> we yeah. upgraded, man, by the inch. My boy. Yeah. I think, I think it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's bigger than 14. It's gotta be. Alright, we're at one, two, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. There we go, 16 and a half. That's a two and a half inch upgrade. Yeah. Guys, check this out. Guys, I think this salmon is very beautiful. He's peeing on my finger. The translucence of his uh, gill plates is very immaculate. Gotta love it. Gotta appreciate nature in all its glory. Yeah. It's a beautiful one. And she gives us two and a half extra inches. What's not to love? Give her a little nose dive. 
All right, two and a half extra inches. We might have to do a little bit of math to calculate, but we need a giant one of those, like a 30 pounder. That does put us at 150, I think. That's huge. That's 150 inches, man. Wow. Gentlemen, we've had a heck of a night. I've completely conquered seasickness. You caught the fish of a lifetime. And we found a lot about New York that we didn't know before. What I think so cool is we started the day with 70 inches and we've managed to get all the way up to 150 without the added bonus for having big fish. We so it's, it's been a pretty amazing day and we had amazing days the days before. So I think Rackley and One Rod are finishing up. So we'll see if we pull out this win. But nonetheless, it was a really cool trip. We caught a ton of different species, but we're headed back in and I think we're going to figure out the news, man. That was top tier adventure. I'm, I'm kind of anxious. I hope we didn't light a fire underneath one rod and rack, let it go beat us into the ground. But yeah. either way, trolled on Lake Ontario, had a blast. We're, uh, I'm in the dark, I'm driving. I'm driving right now. We're going eight mile. We're, we're on eight mile road in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Are you driving, trolling the competition? Fuck you. No, no, the competition, hey guys. I, think, I, I think you're still like three hours left. No, we're 100% going till midnight. So, you drink, drink you one of them energy drinks, and uh, we gotta do. Uh, get ready. Go, go follow this guy. Follow this. Guy. It'd be safer. <laughs> we got the popo over here. Okay. Though. All right. So you probably see the uh, blue and red cherries and berries over there. Uh, <laughs> we just pulled up into a park. We came out of the like most wealthiest zone I've ever imagined yeah. eight mile would be, and then we came over to where uh, you know the drug deals and prices are going down. Yeah, so, uh, we're, we're gonna scooch over to somewhere else. I don't think the Tesla is gonna make it. If we leave the car, I don't <laughs> think we're gonna come back to it. So, I think we're gonna roll. I think we're gonna roll. Yeah, let's just scoot on Slide on out quietly. Yeah. Yeah. We're charging our car quickly, but we are running out of time. We only have a little over two hours yeah. until. Yeah, and we got midnight. a 40 minute drive to our spot. So, we're gonna have to straight up get some night. We got some night crawlers. Got some King Daddy Cobras in here. It's gonna, gonna look. Oh Whoa. my gosh, dude! Look at these. Those are juicy, man. Juicies. Mm. Real juicies. So we've got the bait. We just got to get it in there. And I feel like it's either gonna happen quick or it's gonna be a dud. It's Bro, be a dud. Norm and Ao are 15 inches ahead of us. We are not losing to them. I thought we were gonna be chilling tonight. I thought we'd be in bed watching Dumb and Dumber right now. I know. But now we're gonna be grinding. We ain't losing Norman Ayo. We're catching some, I don't know what we're gonna catch, but we're catching something new, something long. It's very doable. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Uh, we, went, we went down eight mile. You guys didn't see this, but uh, Cam, the guy behind the camera right now, um, he went into a little grocery store while we were having to charge the Tesla because we were out of battery. We, we would not have made it here. And uh, there was basically like people laying all over the floor, drugged out. It was bad. It was like what you see in the movies. So we went we went from there to we drove about 40 minutes south to a pond that we have fished before. Confirmed, we've got uh, catfish, carp. Uh, what else is in here? This is where walleye, we caught the bass before. Walleye There's in walleye here. in Drummer here. Drummer in here. We have the opportunity. So here's the thing, if we get a large carp over 30 inches. Over 25, we just gotta go over 25. 25. That's their biggest fish. It's gonna knock 10 points away from them. Well, over 30, because they have a salmon bodge. Yeah, they do have a salmon that's 30 something. Okay, we, have we have to catch a carp over, we have to catch a monster carp. Anyway, <laughs> that would take 10 inches away from them automatically. Um, but we gotta catch some other species. Yeah, we need other we species. Have to. Yeah. We, need a cat, we need something long. If we don't get catch another fish in the next we hour, have, yeah, we have less than that. We gotta get rolling, bro. We're done. Ever since we left the boat ramp at beautiful Lake St. Clair, things have just taken a turn. So it's uh, now starting to rain apparently. Me and Mike are sitting under a bridge. And we've gotten some bites, but we, we can't hook up. We don't know what these fish are. Confused. We're in the dark. We're in a vulnerable state. And we've got very little time left. It's not looking good for us. <laughs> Bro, it's definitely not looking good. 
This is rough, man. This is pretty rough. It's 11.30 p.m. Cold, wet, tired, no fish. Brutal. All right. Is it midnight? Still 11. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, oh no. He come on. He got off. He got off. What was it? Got one. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. That, that's where we're ending right here. It's midnight, 11.59. I mean, it's, it's, probably, it's probably gonna turn to midnight. It's midnight. That is the end of the challenge. We were literally ending where we started. Yeah, full circle, man. Full circle, on a bluegill, though. Uh, I will say that's probably the biggest bluegill of the trip. Might add an inch. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think that's gonna help us get the dub. I don't think so. Well, I guess we need to call the boys and congratulate them. What do you think? It sucks. But I think it's time. Yeah, we fished our house out. I'm, our best. Yeah, I'm not upset with it. Yeah. I had an amazing time. Yeah. Up here, but I think they out they outfought us on the troll. I think so. I'll, I'll give him a call. We well, out there. You out there fishing? Norm's got some. Sh Losing him. Norm needs to get some uh, starling going or something. Oh, they, he's in the water and he's got the he's got the rainbow bass shorts looking all sexy and fine. Okay, so essentially what happened was, you know, day one, Rackley and I got a good 50, 55 inches. You guys got the uh, the old goose egg. Is that right? And day two, Rackley had up over like 60, right? Yeah, we had about 110 inches or so. Then you guys caught up a little bit, maybe had about 50, 55. That was pretty solid, a nice little comeback, but you know, we were feeling pretty good, pretty confident, and then Day three, that's when you guys made that amazing comeback, brought it all the way back up to 158 inches or so. Then Rackley and I, we were stuck at about 148 or so. And yeah, you know, we ended the funny. call. We ended the call. Rackley and I had quite an adventure going out there. Definitely yeah. an eight mile. You guys seen that movie, Eight Mile? It's real. It's real. It's, it's not fake. It's not a, it's yeah. not a fake documentary. It's real. We fished in the rain, pitch black darkness till the stroke of midnight we needed 10 inches to beat you guys just 10 inches just one little measly catfish but alas we did not get it so my friends congratulations you are the winners of the 2v2 statewide championship episode series 2 whatever you want to call it you guys took it congrats I'm so happy. Let's go. ayo so happy he took his shirt off I think he was just, he was ready to party. <laughs> so what did you guys think? You boys have fun? Oh, dude, we did. I'm about to, I'm about to get so much fried food to celebrate. <laughs> you are uh, the 2022 Master Danglers U.S. Champions. We would like to know, where should we go next? To the Montañas. To the Seas of Capistrano. <laughs> where would you like to see us go to? It's got to be two similar places, same kind of playing field. I think this one was really good. Yeah. I mean, very even, very they, fair contest. They came back tremendously, got on the right species. I, like, it's, you got to have some long fish to win. Oh, yeah. Know? So, uh, let us know in the comments what you think. And comment below which 2v2 teams you want to see next. Of any of the Googans, comment the teams that you guys want to see the next 2v2 statewide challenge. It's a beggar. Absolutely. I'm glad we didn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little touch and go there for a second, but sure uh, we made it out. You guys missed the heroin needles, but uh, for another episode. That's right, that's right. Thank you so much for watching the Guggen Squad 2v2 statewide challenge. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be even better. Peace. One, two, three, four. Absolute monsters out here. What? Ooh. This is a PB trapping speech.